Hello guys, welcome back. Um, I'm Lisa and I'm going to do a couple bases today with acrylic paint. I um, have already put a base coat down. Uh, when you're doing bases or stuff on glass, it's a lot easier if you put a base coat on because otherwise your paint, your colored paint is just going to go where the, um, where the drips are going. And then you're not going to get full coverage without wasting a bunch of paint. So, so I'm going to do one that is black. And I'm going to do a um, metallic cobalt blue on that one and copper. And then I'm going to this one that's white. I'm going to use uh, uh, primary element, some um, dried pigment paste. I'm sorry, dry paint. Uh, Love Struck and Sunburst, which is like a deep burgundy red and a bright, bright yellow. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first off, I am going to put some white. Hmm. I think I'm going to do like clean pours on these. I usually do like a dirty cup where I put all the paint in the one cup and then swirl it on. Maybe I'll do that with the primary element colors. And then this one will be just a clean, clean pour, so I'll do one of each. So I'm going to take a cup. And because I'm using white, I'm put a little bit of white. I don't want that to turn pinkish. I'm going to run it down the edge. So that it layers in the cup. Crack that. Guess I don't reuse that cup, do I? Sorry, I thought I was ready to go, but apparently I decided something different. <laughs> Now the primary elements are mixed with polypore. Um, I gotta put another order in because I am out now. Cut. And then I'll put a little bit of white on top here. All right. 
So let's do this one. Should I mix it? Maybe I'll just do like a little crisscross in it. Hopefully these colors don't muddy. So I don't want to leave it in the cup too long. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna let that go and see how it's running. I'm just gonna let this run for a minute. Oops, I had a goober on my paint. So I'm just gonna take this over the sides a little bit. I love this copper and I love the cobalt blue this is the artist loft copper and then the artist loft metallic cobalt blue those colors are so great together so a little bit more of this and a little bit more of this bit more black and we'll see what that one does okay so normally I just have these vases up on a cup and then when I try to move them over to a table it's so slippery <laughs> that I can't get a grip on them so I just took a cup and ran these sticks through it so I could move it a little bit easier So there's full coverage on this. I'm not loving it. I want some more yellow in there. So I'm going to run it around. One more time here. And then I can tip it so that it comes off the... Oops. I didn't plan that out really well, huh? Just want to get this off of the... So it's not super thick on the bottom. So I'll just blow it off. Pretty full coverage too. I'll walk around and see. I think I want a little bit more color here. This way. And I want some more down here. know why I tried to do these clean pours because they rarely turn out because I don't like the way that the paint is running all right so I just put some in a cup and I'm gonna do a dirty pour on this now I really do like the dirty pours better. I gotta run. 
run over here, make sure I got full coverage all the way around. Uh, it's very turquoisey on that side. some pretty great skins here. All right, I'm not loving this one yet. I wanted more copper and black. And I wanted the turquoise to just come through a bit. No, I did not do my hair, so I don't know if you guys could see my hair or not, but if you could, just look away. Alright guys, I put that in there so I get that yellow. Alright, so the black one is just Artist Loft Paints with Floetrol and um, some water. Just a little tiny bit. I don't think the black has flow trial in it at all. Or I'm sorry, it does have flow trial. I don't think it has any water in it. But the cobalt blue, the metallic is pretty thick. The cobalt blue and the copper both have flow trial and a little bit of water in it. This one here is just polypore. Um, well, the white is artist loft with Floetrol and um, the colors of its polypore, which is, let me dig in the garbage here, this stuff that I'm out now. So, So that's it. So let me take you in on a close up. See that ass end of that one, don't. I'm not happy with that turquoise one. Spoons. All right, so I'm going to spoon up some of this and run it down. And first there was too much turquoise and then there wasn't any. And that's turning muddy on me. Damn it. Okay, I kind of like how that's coming down. 
I'll do the same thing with the copper, but in different areas. I'm liking it better now. Cool. All right. Okay. So, let me pause you and I will get them over on my other table and then come back. Hang on one second. All right, guys. So here is a close up of this. Look at the bottom. Sorry, the fractal. <laughs> it's not going to do it down here, though. Because it doesn't seem to happen when you don't, like when you end up touching the paint or swiping or something. But if the paint's just sitting there. So this is really pretty. It's got kind of like a coral marble look to it, which I think is going to be fantastic after I resin it. See? I think those colors did really well together. I love that. And then here's the black one. Also looks kind of more like a hammered look instead of marble. That's a pretty cool. You see how close I can get? Yeah, so I will wait till these dry and then I will put a layer of resin on them and they will probably go as uh, game prizes for the baby shower if they turn out good, which I think they are, but I think this one's going to be my favorite. So yeah, so thanks for joining me, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Please like and give me thumbs up. Thumbs up. And I will see you on the next one. All right, guys. Bye.